away tonight. Yulia Loputegi's extremely stop start. Wolves team, I do think it's going to be an evenly matched contest tonight. Fulham without an Alexander Mitrovic presence up top after the Serbian failed his fitness test ahead of tonight's clash. Wolves with the front three of Mateus Cunha, Raul Jimenez, new boy Pablo Sarabia. I'm going for a score for tonight. that's currently going off the pre-match song at Fulham let me know down below right now tell me the name of that song it's amazing here come the teams Wolves and the Whites a wonderful noise inside the cottage on this Friday night you can feel a real buzz around the place Fulham are showing places and it's so clear to see I just want to quickly mention that tonight in particular we stand with all Ukrainian citizens on the one year anniversary of the beginning of, of that war. <laughs> there is the first real chance of the night for Wolves. 20 minutes in exactly, Pablo Sarabia has a real goal scoring opportunity right in front of Bernd Lennon's goal. I've got to say, this game has been very short on action so far. We are underway at the cottage. Wolves take the lead. From close range, a fairly routine goal. Struck past Bern Leno, and I'd be lying if I said it wasn't deserved. Fulham goal, a goal down at home, that's very, very unlike them. The away team take the lead, and it was the new boy, Pablo Sarabia. Absolute carnage down there in that Wolves away end. <laughs> Gotta say, them away fans are really, really impressing me tonight. Wolves fans are so underrated. Last chance of the half. Oh. There is half time in Hammersmith. Wolves, much the better side so far tonight. You can really tell Fulham are missing Mitrovic badly. Now, you might notice I have moved seats during the first half. Let me give you a little quick story as to why. So I was filming, as I do, filming the game. Oh, to be honest, I don't really enjoy actually filming the game, having my camera. Obviously, I enjoy capturing the experience of you guys and posting my coverage online. But I don't enjoy having to get my camera out every few seconds. But... This man behind me, I'm not going to show a picture or anything, but the guy behind me certainly did not enjoy it. He saw I was on my phone, for some reason it bothered him. He shoved me over completely down a few stairs. Fulham Stewart dealt with it very, very well. I'm not complaining. I am now in a much better seat with a much better view. I've got a great view of the game. So, jokes on that man. I think he's been handed a few match bans. Calm as a bitch. That's for you, my friend. Ha ha. Well, I've just finished my laughter. Can Wolves carry on their laughter and keep Fulham at their misery? Let's find out. It was a very miserable first up from a white perspective, from an orange perspective, however. Wow, some good stuff played by Lopetegui's boys. How will the rest of this match pan out? Second half beckons. You absolutely love to see it. My country boy, Manor Solomon, is on for the second half. There's an Israel flag on the other side of the stadium. 
here is Mr. Manor, the magician. I am from his country. I am half Israeli. Oh my gosh, if he scores, I will be going mental. Come on, Manor. Let's have a goal from you tonight, my son. And after a clearly very lengthy injury for Mateus Cunha, that man down there, that man down there, Adama Traore enters the fray for Wolves. How will he affect this game? I'm sure he'll do something. for you what an incredible moment to celebrate Manor Solomon's unbelievable goal at Craven Cottage right here I was right in front of it to see it what a moment that is very very special wow and we've now got an extremely interesting last 20 minutes ahead of us can either side find a winner I don't think they can, but if they could, if either side could, it would be unreal. Manuel Solomon, get your second goal. Imagine that. I still can't believe that goal was incredible. Wow. Wow. An optimistic roar around the cottage. Here comes Solomon again. Nothing coming. Nothing looked like it's coming of this chance. Unless. 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 No, never a handball, nothing. Eight minutes. Eight minutes of stoppage time since the 17th minute. No, not even a sniff of goal for either side. Eight minutes now for either side to search for a winner. Is there going to be one last twist in this match? A fairly even game, in my humble opinion. Optimism surrounds the cottage. Carlos Vinicius has been useless and anonymous up top all night long. They've had a Mitrovic-shaped hole in that number nine spot. He nearly came up with something very special there, very, very nearly. Dying moments now. We've moved to the very front row. You will have to see it. I've got to say, what a lovely ground this is as this game dies out. Like I said, it will be a one-all draw. There we go. Full time in Hammersmith, a score draw, Fulham won, Wolverhampton Wanderers won. But the big story of the night, Mr. Man or Solomon, my homeboy, to all the Israelis inevitably tuning into this video. Shalom, Salam, Shelly. It's nice to see you again, and I hope you enjoyed watching Amelech Man or Solomon. Eze gol, Wase, Eze gol, Todar Balchem. Um, thank you so much for watching my video and if I had time I will see you all tomorrow at Charlton against Sheffield Wednesday a little bit different to that I've got to say a fairly evenly balanced match but King Manor strikes again good night